Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you what you could expect from Emirates brand new first class on their 777-300ER. Uh, this is the newest first class Emirates has. Uh, recently did a review on Emirates first class on their A380, but this is the brand new product here on select 777. So this one is not on any A380s and this is yeah, this was quite the experience here as we take a look at the seat. I was I chose seat 2F uh, really for the reason I wanted to see what the fake windows look like. Um, <laughs> essentially there as you can see there they do have the windows but essentially their camera is looking on the outside because this is an actual middle seat. Uh, we got six suites and a 1-1 one, one, um, essentially a 1-1-1 one, one, one configuration uh, you have there as you can see the seats just that massive suite there. You've got the pop-up mirror here. You've got a pen and a pad there below that. Huge, absolutely huge uh, in-flight entertainment screen there. Similar to that of the uh, one on Singapore Airlines new suites on their A380s. And you got the lighting up top, which I'll show you in a bit. All the different color options you've got. I, yeah, I really love the attention to detail on this, uh, this seat. Here pulls out the tray table. This is where you eat. I mean, essentially, this looks like a little private desk uh, you have here. You've got storage space there. You've got storage space up front for your luggage. Again, there's no overhead bins, similar to that of the um, A380, and the no storage space in the overhead bins in first class. There, you do have the amenity kit there. Here, you've got a remote here, so you can also control the in flight entertainment screen with this here on your left side or you can do it with the tablet here you've got multiple functions here you can actually call a flight attendant on a video call kind of an odd thing here you've got USB HDMI port charging port there on the left side pulls out <clears throat> you've got some quick functions for the seat there to the right here you've got uh, I guess you could put I don't know a pen or something in there not sure what you would put in there You've got the uh, closet here. Here's where you'd put your coat. Maybe some other things, maybe a tablet that you might forget later. There's the headphones available there. Bowers and Wilkins, just like the A380, same exact headphones. Again, you can put your coat there. Maybe something else if you had, a couple of coats really. And here you've got the lighting control uh, for the suite. So here you can control the lighting. Uh, temperature again some seat functions as well so really uh, intuitive system there is so I'll kind of show you a little bit more of that uh, later in regard to controlling the uh, different lights uh, yeah, you have different lights on see that you change the color of the lights yeah. see here and yeah, as you see that they'll change the color there of the kind of the little beads around the uh, suite there that have the lights there as you can see but looks a lot better in the dark when you have the lights out to really see um, the different color options you have there for the mood lighting in your suite there so you can put privacy options there if you don't want to be disturbed and again you got temperature controls as well and again this is a fully enclosed suite so with the door closed you um, there's no space between the door and the ceiling there that goes all the way up kind of got the tree and the design again really beautiful beautifully designed things you can take all those drinks up there and the snack basket those are complimentary as well um, just to kind of look here at the tablet so you do have some more functions as far as the more detailed seat options so these you can control the different points and how you want to um, move those and and adjust your seat so again really detailed display here as far as the controls and what you can control i mean yeah, who wouldn't want to be stuck in this seat uh, this is flight ek 231 from uh, dubai to dulles and it was about 15 hours and 20 minutes so yeah pure bliss to be able to enjoy this so here you can have the one touch seat control so if you press this button you'll go into the lay flat mode which you're not going to have a problem with the narrow footwells here as you can see I mean, just a ridiculous amount of space for your feet as you recline into the uh, lie flat position. So that won't be an issue. Got some really good sleep on this flight. Um, 
the Mercedes-Benz inspired uh, seats. So here's how you flip out the little, not really a tray table, I guess a drink tray table. You can put your drink there as well. So you can push that for a little more space uh, if you wanna there. And just so you kind of get an idea of how that looks, the suite all the way up to the ceiling there in the light. And you do have the starry night um, scape down the aisles at night, which is a cool thing. It gives you the feeling like you're in the, uh, just walking amongst the stars. Here's kind of a demonstration to show you what the different lighting tones look like in the suite. So different hues and colors. So that's really a cool thing to play with there. As far as depending on what mood you're in, you can set the lighting to adjust. I believe there's about eight or nine different color schemes that you can change to. So that's controlled on that panel on the right side, which I showed you a little bit ago. Cool feature of the suite. And here's kind of a look at the fake windows, if we will, with the cameras outside. This is while we're at the gate, so you can still kind of see the jet bridge there, uh, which is a cool feature. You'll see that on the landing too. You even got a door closing, so that's cool. And this part up front, you can pull this up for the maximum amount of, amount of privacy there. And when you close the door, so you just got an idea of what the suite looks like enclosed. So that's how it looks there. You got the flower decor again, floor to ceiling uh, privacy in this suite, which is the ultimate. So I will leave you with the takeoff and I will continue talking about this flight after the takeoff. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Let's take a look at the bathroom on this aircraft. So, yeah, well, I'll say this is definitely not the A380 bathroom with the shower because uh, they didn't they didn't install showers or uh, anything like that on this aircraft. But still, a nice bathroom, uh, very spacious, uh, first class bathroom there. And you got for essentially six passengers, you got a power outlet there. I uh, like the the finishes are nice, really clean. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty standard bathroom. But Again, good space, no shower uh, in this first class edition. So the service started off, we started off with a hot towel service. Um, to that, you had some warm nuts and Don Perignon 2008. Just like my last uh, flight on the A380 on Emirates, I had another beetroot lemon ginger drink, some Arabic coffee and chocolate. Uh, it's a dine on demand flight. So then you'd have the caviar service in the canaps. Canepis uh, after that, so again, caviar service was first, and they did bring out the uh, Canepis, which is, yeah, I think it was actually the same, exact same ones as I had on the uh, other flight on the A380, as far as uh, for dinner service, and again, you can have anything on the menu at any time, that's the, the dine on demand, the beauty of it, there's, I got some, uh, got some teas, uh, some tea here, as well as uh, the main course, which is a mixed grill with uh, rice, lamb, kebab, and chicken. Um, honey roasted uh, pumpkin uh, thymi. Really good, really good, uh, good meal there. There's a Moroccan mint tea that I had up there to the right there. And for desserts, uh, passion fruit tart. 
there and a small chocolate was given out. So we got a little fruits there and some, yeah, I think those are like tapioca or whatever bubbles, kind of similar to what you'd see on uh, boba uh, tea. And for breakfast, I don't actually remember what time I had this, but um, yeah, I had a mushroom omelet there with some chicken sausage, tomatoes, some hash and asparagus, and also a uh, Belgium waffle with uh, berry compote that I had for uh, breakfast there on this flight. So I'm gonna leave you with the menus here for wine, uh, drinks, and uh, food. So you can take a look through those to see what your choices are through the flight. And I'll be back shortly to talk about a few more things. show you what you had as far as price wise for the Wi-Fi on the flight um, and your options there I didn't use it but the option is there if you need it and then we'll take a look here at the kind of briefly about the in-flight entertainment system I'll kind of leave you with this just to show you what you can control I, I went through this yeah, I showed quite a bit of it on my last review on the A380, so I'll just kind of let you take a look through. It's essentially the same as far as the menus go and getting to stuff, but um, just a little more refined look on this aircraft.
with some of my final thoughts on this flight. Uh, Service-wise, I actually didn't feel like the service was as good as on my previous flight on the A380 from Istanbul to Dubai. Uh, Ava, the flight attendant, was absolutely incredible. Not to say that um, the flight attendant on this, on this flight were bad, but I just feel like, yeah, the service wasn't as outgoing uh, and proactive as the previous service. Uh, the food was excellent. Uh, the suite is just, yeah, this has to be the most private uh, suite in the sky. I mean, even I have flown the A380 on Singapore Air. I mean, that one's private. I just, this one just feels like you're in another world when you're in the suite. I mean, with the doors closed and with all the options you have, and even video calling the flight attendant for something, which I did try that and it didn't, I think the flight attendant was kind of off guard. It didn't yeah, I think it's something that'll take time to get used to <laughs> as far as that technology. But yeah, just everything you could possibly imagine you have in the suite at your disposal. The dine on demand, and you have Wi-Fi, I mean, just the service um, that is offered as far as the food goes. Um, it, it's really incredible. Um, just really shows how far we've come as far as private cabins go. Uh, only six seats on this flight. Uh, so. A very private cabin and it essentially yeah, it feels like you're warded off in your own really your own aircraft almost so uh, that was my experience on emirates brand new first class on their 777-300 er flight ek 231 from uh, dubai to washington dulles international airport as always i appreciate you watching please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this with a friend thank you